this is a bit odd, I've come up here and uh, switched on the Alinko and we've got a flashing display and I've not got any receive and I've got a very uh, low audio level got no receive and a flashing display, what does that mean? Oh shit Not quite sure what's going on there. Um, definitely got no receive. Does that mean the antenna's all plugged in? I've got antennas are in, I can switch between the two antennas. Uh, let's boot up the grant. Nothing on the grant now either. Where's the grant? The yeah, grant's working. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Oh, flashing display. And I've got no TX either. Oh, that's a bloody. Oh my word, uh, well it's a funny old night, you know, well afternoon really, radio wise. Um, firstly, yeah it seems that one of my little mascot power supplies has gone south and the flashing display on the Alenco indicating, <coughs> indicating that um, there isn't enough power to transmit. It's quite good, it's got a built in sort of protection circuit. So I swapped over to my other mascot power supply, so it looks like I've blown <coughs> looks like I've blown one up but the good thing was that I after I've sort of very uh, dodgily <laughs> if that's a word very dangerously piggybacked onto this power supply um, I called out on the 27 I got Steve Ellis finally got to speak to Steve Ellis and we was having a great conversation about arcade machines and I've lost him and I don't know if it's because of my setup or his setup and I don't know where I've lost him it's a shame because he was coming in at about S7 I'll give a little shout out. 26 Charlie Tango 1664. Steve, are you there? 26 Charlie Tango 1664. Fred in the shed, standing by. No, he's not there. There's something in the background, but uh, that was a shame. That was a shame. I was really enjoying that. Oh well, it's one of those days today. Do you know what I mean? So here it is. This is the QJE generic 30 amp power supply. Um, it's the one I showed you there on eBay. So 70 pounds delivered. Um, I've seen it for about. 54 pounds but then of course you've got delivery on top so you know it seems that 70 to 80 pounds is the price um, comes in two different versions the ps30 which is obviously the 30 amp and a 50 which is the larger 50 amp um, you're going to pay approximately 25 to 30 pounds more for the 50 amp version so yeah it could be um, quite important if you want to run a little linear or something as well as your radio then uh, it's probably worth going for the 50 personally 30 is fine for what I want to do so uh, straight into the box it's a metal case Oops, sound a bit <laughs> that's the box splitting it's a metal case construction um, not all that heavy really you know switching mode power supplies aren't particularly heavy and uh, there you go, there, there it is. I hope you can see that on the camera. So obviously you've got the voltage there and then the amperage, the amperes. It's basic on off switch. Um, some of these little spring clip things, you know, like this sort of 80s speaker connection controls there just for sort of three amps. So you just run a basic CB radio off that 
uh, and then you've got the voltage adjust which I believe is you can switch that on and off on the back and then you've got a noise offset which is quite interesting and then finally you've got a little uh, 10 amp adapter there for a cigarette type which is quite good you know um, things like sat navs or something you might just want to uh, plug it in there um, no, no USB sort of 5, 5 volt outlet which is a little bit of a uh, disappointment nowadays. It would be quite handy sort of to plug your phone in or something. Um, but there you go. You're not going to get everything, are you? So on the back there, we've got the uh, fan. Just on the back to keep it cool. Hopefully that won't be too noisy. It's got the spring, sorry, the thumb from the uh, terminals here. For the 30 amp, also you've got you've got a little socket there for banana plugs, 5 amp fuse, and then you've got the voltage. You can have it on consistent 13.8, or you can uh, put it down and have it on the adjust, which is quite handy, I suppose, if you want to turn the voltage down. And there it is, you know, what you see is what you get, really. Um, so uh, yeah, not too big. Build quality wise, it seems all right to be honest. It's probably not the best, but uh, anyway, so. Uh, that's a new supply. So while we've got that, we might as well crank up the Elenco DX77. We might as well run that on the uh, full 100 watts now, other than having it on half power. So I think next thing is to uh, bring the Elenco down from the shack and uh, switch on, switch over the internal switch, and uh, crack it up to uh, 100 watts, full pint. Okay, we're going. So here's that. the Elenco, um, doing quite well. Unfortunately. And uh, this is probably my only criticism of the radio itself, is the fact that it's power switch. You, know, you have a high and low power, which typically runs it from, say, 100 down to 10 watts, or 50 down to 5. But the main power switch, high, low, 50 to 100, is unfortunately uh, internal. It's a bit of a shame, really, um, which means we've got to take the top off. Although, it does give me an opportunity because the volume control sort of uh, control here is just feeling a little bit gritty um, little pot here just you know it just feels a little bit gritty like it's just got a little bit of dirt between the uh, sort of contacts in there um, it's, it's probably wearing out to be honest the squelch is uh, much nicer so I'm going to give that a little bit of contact spray when I get inside, if I can get into it. I don't want to really take this radio fully apart. I'll try to get into it a little bit of contact spray. Um, I don't know, eventually I suppose if that continues to get worse I might look at the possibility of swapping the two pots over. I don't know how difficult that would be. Um, if it's just normally sort of three contacts, I don't know. But uh, I think that's just showing a little bit of wear inside. Right, anyway, I'm going to... Uh, Take the top off and then we'll have a look at the uh, high-low power switch. So there we go, we're inside. I don't know how much you can see actually, because I can't see the, the screen on the camera, but uh, I don't know if you can make out just that little switch there. That is the um, sort of 50 to 100 watt switch. And I've currently got it down to uh, half power. So there we go, that's all it is. That now turns it up to uh, maximum power. So as I say, you know, it's a shame that really uh, wasn't somewhere on the back or something. Um, I've had a little look at the little pots for the volume of the squelch. Once again, I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. But unfortunately, without really getting deep into the radio, um, I'm not going to be able to get any contact spray in, I don't think. I don't want to get too deep inside this radio. Um, I rather like it. <laughs> Not much in here really is there. If you look at the control board, you've got the main PCU control board and this massive like heat sink and transformer with the fan. Um, it's all very nice and clean inside. It's been well looked after this radio. No uh, screwdriver jockeys been inside. And it hasn't got the additional tone unit. That's why if you had the, uh, this is the E version. If you had the sort of models further up the line you would have the tone unit in there as well but I say that looks like it's a solder job to me it's not just a simple module I might be wrong but I don't think I am but anyway 
There we go, yeah, as I say, mm, at this stage of the game, I don't think I really can get into that pot. So we're going to leave it for now whilst it's working. If it's you know if it's working, just sort of leave it alone. And uh, so that's it. So put the cover back on, connect it up, and we should be at uh, full power. And so there we go. I'm back. Go um, just fit the power supply in just down there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, does it really? Um, didn't. It wasn't aware that the the gauges lit up. Um, a little bit bright maybe, but uh, yeah, well, there you go. Seems to be uh, putting out about 14 volts. Did a little bit of cable management up here because it was looking really bad. <laughs> it still isn't great. If I tilt down a little bit, on this side, forget that. But on this side, I've just sort of, you know, tidied everything up a little tiny fraction there. Um, yeah, I want to do something with this, you know. This is just this was only supposed to be temporary, do you know what I mean? It's one of those things that's... So I really would like to sort of build myself some kind of a little desk or something in there. Um, you know, it's all a bit sort of cluttered and it's not all that comfortable, to be honest, to use. So anyway, let's have a little look, closer look at the power supply in action. So here are the gauges. So yeah, um, when I key up, I'm on the on FM, so that's going to be full power. And there we go, we swing straight over to uh, 20 amps. So plenty in reserve. Maximum of 30, peaks at 32. If I just go on to sideband, just give me a sec. And just do an audio check. Audio. 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 So, yeah, you know, steady 20 amps there. Just flicked, flicked up slightly towards the 30. So, hopefully, that's... Uh, that's going to be all good. You know, it's, it's fairly quiet. Just about here, a little uh, fan going in the backgrounds. So you've got this noise noise offset thingy, Bob. I don't know what that does. I've tried adjusting it. It doesn't seem to make any difference. And, of course, you've got the voltage adjustment, which is uh, switched off at the moment. So I think, all in all, um, yeah, I think, I think the job's good, one, to be honest. Okay, here is uh, now running on full power. So this gives me the 100 watts. Um, whether I need 100 watts is another thing, but you might as well have them, I suppose. It's not going to run 100 watts all the time, is it? You know, it's on, you know, sideband. So I'll wait uh, in hopefully Monday or Tuesday, get a contact with uh, Steve Stevens on his way home from work. And you never know, hopefully I might be hitting him a little bit better. I don't suppose it'll do a great deal of difference, but uh, anyway, at least I know that I'm not going to blow up any more power supplies. <laughs> Okay, anyway, a bit of a nonsense video this one, anyway, so, so I thought it might interest the radio, guys. Alright, I'm gone. Um, bye for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next video. Ta-la now.